In this video, we will talk about the electron transport chain, which is a part of aerobic cellular respiration. When glucose enters a cell, it goes through glycolysis pathway and breaks down into pyruvate molecules. Then pyruvate will enter into the mitochondria and in the matrix of mitochondria, it will go through another pathway called Krebs cycle. Mitochondria has two membranes. One is outer membrane and the other is inner membrane. And in between outer and inner membrane, the intermembrane space is present. So glucose breaks down into pyruvate by the process glycolysis and the glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm and the pyruvate molecule then enters the mitochondria. And inside mitochondria, it goes through another pathway that is Krebs cycle. Krebs cycle produces energy molecules like NADH and FADH2. And these molecules goes through electron transport chain to produce ATP. So electron transport chain is a chain of enzymes which are present in the inner membrane of mitochondria. The first enzyme of electron transport chain is NADH dehydrogenase complex and it is also called complex 1. As the name suggests, the NADH dehydrogenase complex will dehydrogenase NADH molecule and break it down into NAD+, H+, and electrons. The released electron is collected by complex 1 and it is sent to the next complex. The name of the complex 2 is succinate dehydrogenase complex. Succinate dehydrogenase is also an enzyme of Krebs cycle. In Krebs cycle, succinate dehydrogenase is used to convert succinate to fumarate. And the electron of FADH2 in this conversion is collected by succinate dehydrogenase complex. The electron received from the complex 1 and the electrons received from FADH2, all of them are transferred to the next complex, complex number 3. And the name of the complex 3 is cytochrome reductase. And this complex will also pass the electron to the next complex that is complex number 4 in the chain. The name of complex 4 is cytochrome C oxidase. After passing through the complex 4, the electrons will contribute in production of water molecule by binding with oxygen and H plus molecules. And this is why the electron transport chain is dependent on oxygen. So the purpose of passing the electrons to the complexes is to push the H plus ions from the matrix of mitochondria to the intermembrane space. Whenever electron passes through a complex, the complexes push the hydrogen ions to the intermembrane space. As a result, the concentration of H plus ion increases in the intermembrane space and which causes a gradient. Now the concentrated hydrogen ions wants to come to the less concentrated space that is the matrix of mitochondria and it occurs through another enzyme that is ATP synthase and this enzyme is also called complex 5. When four hydrogen ions cross the ATP synthase enzyme, it produces one molecule of ATP. This is how electron transport chain produces ATP by passing electrons in the chain of enzymes and using the gradient of hydrogen ions. This is it for electron transport chain and you can get the full page photograph following the Facebook and Instagram links. Thank you.